start. Hello everybody and welcome back to Blade Runner. Um, last episode we explored, <coughs> excuse me, explored the um, animal shop and we found some good pieces of evidence. But there's one that I'd like to examine here and then um, that's the, uh, the video reel. Scanning video disc. Two enhanceable images found. Adding enhanceable photographs to Kaya database. Okay, let's start with the first one. Run sitter crime scene. For those of you who are familiar with the film, um, you should recognize this kind of piece of equipment from one scene. It seems like all the Blade Runners have them. Um, it allows you to kind of zoom in and uh, highlight certain areas. A bit like similar to the CSI, um, you know, all the techniques used in CSI to somehow incredibly um, focus and sharpen up images like you can see the reflection of a person in a car door or something like that um, but let's have a look in this area over here see what's going on unlike in the film this isn't voice command this is um, just a click and grab and it's sat on the desk <coughs> A sushi menu from Howie Lee's. Give me a hard copy of that. So that's the second piece of incriminating evidence from Howie Lee's. Um, the chopsticks were found before. Scene. So let's see what this other one is. Um, let's see if we can focus this image up on these two characters coming in. <coughs> Excuse me. Hmm. Looks pretty dark, but as if by magic. He looks familiar. Give me a hard copy of that. Alright, so now we've now I've got a face to one of the suspects. Um So that was that for now, so let's have a look at the evidence we've got so far. Suspect three C. Um, for some reason, he's been associated as having graceful footsteps. I'm not sure how quite know that yet, but um, we've got plenty of uh, evidence for all, all three. So let's let's go um, check out how he leaves. We'll come explore the house in a bit. Um, we have to come back here later. Your floor number, please. Looks like we're starting to build that case. We just need to wait for this uh, epic run across the, the roof of McCoy. Here we go. Now let's move. Let's go to how we these. It's Chinatown. Now we're at animals and police station. No, let's go, let's go to the police station first. See what police station holds in store for us. We'll go to Laboratory. Let's go to the lab. What have we got here? Just a basic room. You can only talk to this one guy. Got anything new for me, Dino? I was wondering when you'd show your mug around here, McCoy. The shell casings from Runciter should be in the Museum of Military History. How's that? They're from an Ender rifle. It's standard issue off-world military hardware. Heavy caliber. That puppy can punch right through a tank. What can I conclude from that? Whoever used this piece didn't just walk into their local sporting goods store and buy it. Those babies are collectibles, and they ain't cheap. Anything else? We got the animal corpses from Runciter's, but there wasn't a whole lot to work with. Bone marrow? About 50% were real, the rest were fakes. So, Runciter was ripping his customers off. State-of-the-art fakes. Miles beyond the crap you see on Animoid Row. The kind that comes from legit manufacturers? 
And they're the ones that usually produce the quality. What about the wounds? Most of them were shot point blank, but we're looking at some others. <laughs> Sloppy cuts with a knife, like the perp was really pissed off at something. Butcher knife? Could be, but who cuts meat anymore? Yeah. Nice bunch Doodles. of reps I'm tailing. Hope you're not pulling a meat cleaver out of my back next week. Alright, so that's a few good bits of information. Let's see what else he knows. Anything else? That black paint you found on the fire hydrant? It's from a ground car. You sure? The angle of impact was almost head on. And there ain't too many spinner drivers clutzy enough to smack a street level hydrant in VTOL mode. I heard your wife got her license back. <laughs> You're a real funny guy, McCoy. And the TV's got anything else? Anything else? That piece of chrome you found outside of Runciter's is from a 1995 Pontiac. Nice set of wheels. It's okay, not what I call a classic. And I think that might be it, but we'll double check. Anything else? Zip, man. Try me later. So that was all the pieces of um, evidence we collected before and the clues. Let's go down to... Mainframe and shooting range. Ground cool. floor. The mainframe and shooting range. Um. The Tyrell Corporation today recalled the last four functioning entertainment model Nexus 5 replicants from off-world service. Dr. Eldon Tyrell, speaking at a shareholders meeting, denied allegations that the model was defective and possibly dangerous. The simple fact is that the model wasn't performing its designated function. There was one isolated incident of violence a couple of years ago, but the individual unit in question was immediately retired from service. No, the problem is far from anything sinister. The entertainment model just isn't funny. Lucky strikes. Crystal's brand. I knew she was spending a lot of time in the training maze these days, even though she'd already gotten close to a perfect score. Crystal was that woman from before? Um, one moment. Intro. Nothing even remotely interesting, but hell, if I was going to root through trash, my expectations weren't too high. That's true. Uh, what have we got here? Old copies of case files, notices, and memos. The usual station junk. So let's, let's head into this building here, this room here. Let's see who this is. Well, if it ain't Ray McCoy! Brian finally letting you play with the big boys. My clearance come through? You bet. You bring your piece? Don't leave home without it. Steele's been running the maze every other day for two weeks, and the targets are getting a little roughed up. I thought Guza was going to requisition some new ones. I ain't seen him down here in a month. Guess he's been busy. Poor guy. I bet he gets all tuckered out from pushing those papers around. And don't sell him short, McCoy. <laughs> Guza could be one tough hombre. <laughs> I remember when we worked mice together. He poured acetone on two pimps that gave us some lip <laughs> and lit a match. Ah, I'll tell you, it looked like the goddamn 4th of July out there. <laughs> Peachy. Well, well, uh, he's a nice fellow. Um, he can go into the shooting range, but um, there's been glitches when the game's been running a new system where um, the, the targets don't load properly, so I'd rather not um, waste the time. So let's just move back up. There's nothing on the other two levels yet, so we'll, we'll go back to the roof and let's go see see what holds in the store for us in Chinatown. familiar scene for those fans of the film. Real sushi was a luxury reserved only for the elite, since most sea life had become radioactive after the Third Terran War. The rest of us had to eat new sushi, soya mixed with off-world lichen. Even the symbol over here, that was in, um, I think it was in the first cut of the film, the first two cuts of cinema releases, but I don't think it was in and the, uh, the director's concern. Beautiful night, isn't it? When business thriving, night always beautiful. This from your place, isn't it? Could be. Chopped to come from Yoshi's restaurant supply. This from your place, isn't it? Yes, sir. You do highway favor? Distribute all throughout police station? 
Yeah, so it was the, the menu and the chopsticks. What's real fresh tonight? Special shipment of Toro just arrived. I fix you right up, no one else. Clean as a whistle. You're Prince, Howie. Please. See you later, Howie. Howie. Wait. Let's talk to the crowd. Oops, that was me. This guy in this jazzy disco suit. McCoy, LPD. I want to ask you a couple of questions. Sorry, my man. I just don't got the time. Yeah, we got to mix more out back. Talks like he's a uh, disco. You're a pretty smart looking cat. You want to make some money? Pay me large. You got my rapt attention. Depends on how much the information's worth. Unfortunately, my man, I got a bug. Dynamite dining, old man. Catch you later. Tell me that's one cool cat. Even even walks like he's a uh, he's got style and grace. How long has that chef worked for you? Zuban? Just month. Superior chef makes all kinds of new suits. Nice. Got a big fella off there. See you later, Howie. Nice. Let's see what's around here. In the kitchen. So let's explore the kitchen. We've got a little general meeting. Um, Let's go talk to this new chef. Howie says you're a master chef. You not come back here! Air bad! This will only take a minute. I'm looking for a girl about 14 years old with pink hair. You seen her? I don't know her! There's a test I'd like you to take. It won't take too long. Test? What kind of test? Kind of a personality test. Totally routine. Routine? Ah. Oh, what? That guy's serious business. Poor old McCoy got messed up. Let's go chase him. Damn. I guess we want to do the void contest. A big guy run past here? Hey, maybe spare some chinion? Sorry, pal. All I got are hundreds. Hey, that'd work. Let's see what's in this bin. In license place. I don't know what that number is. Hmm. What have we got here? Yuck. Some rubbish. Uh, totally uninteresting. Wait, well, why did you click this? Let me look at it. Totally uninteresting. So, let's head up the stairs. See if there's anything cool up there. I'm just wondering where that guy's gone to. Let's get going out. There's nothing here in important. Let's have a run. Locked. Damn. It's locked. And I don't know. I can't see any other ways to go. Let's head back out. Must have got away. Let me try. Let's go down here and see what's down in this area. And talk to Howie again. See you later, Howie. I guess there's nothing to do with it, um, but I think we'll leave it there for this one. And I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Stop.